In this lecture, I will review developing throughout the lifespan. Indeed, life is a journey from womb to tomb. Researchers find human development interesting for the same reason most of the rest of us do. They want to understand more about how we've become our current selves and how we may change in the years ahead. So developmental psychology examines our physical, cognitive, and social development across the lifespan with a focus on three major issues. The first being nature and nurture. How our genetic inheritance, which is our nature, interact with our experiences, which is our nurture, to influence our development. Second, Continuity and stages. What parts of development are gradual and continuous? Like riding an escalator. What parts change abruptly in separate stages? Like climbing a ladder. And third, stability and change. Which of our traits persist through life? How do we change as we age? Let's start with continuity and stages. So, do adults differ from infants as a giant redwood differs from its seedling? A difference created by gradual growth. Or, do they differ as a butterfly differs from a caterpillar? A difference of distinct stages. Researchers who emphasize experience and learning typically see development as a slow, continuous shaping process. Those who emphasize biological maturation tend to see development as a sequence of genetically predisposed stages or steps. Although progress through the various stages may be quick or slow, everyone passes through the stages in the same order. Are there clear-cut stages of psychological development as there are physical stages such as walking before running? So, in my series of lectures, I will talk about these stages according to Piaget on cognitive development, Kohlberg on moral development, and Erickson on psychosocial development. But as we will also see, some research casts doubts on the idea that life proceeds through neatly defined age-linked stages. Although many modern development psychologists do not identify as stage theorists, the stage concept remains useful. The human brain does experience growth spurts during childhood and puberty that corresponds roughly to Piaget's stages and stage theories contribute to developmental perspective on the whole lifespan by suggesting how people of one age think and act differently when they arrive at a later age. Now, let's move on to stability and change. As we follow lives through time, do we find more evidence for stability or change? If reunited with a long-lost grade school friend, do we instantly realize that it's the same old friend? Or do people we once befriended seem like strangers? Well, one research team that studied a thousand people from ages 3 to 38 was struck by the consistency of temperament and emotionality across time. Out of control three-year-olds were the most likely to become teen smokers, adult criminals, or out of control gamblers. 
and the widest smilers in childhood and college photos are later the ones who are most likely to enjoy enduring marriages. A 40-year study found that responsible primary school children even outlive their out-of-control classmates. We cannot, however, predict all aspects of our future selves based on our early life. Our social attitudes, for example, are much less stable than our temperament, especially during impressionable late adolescent years. Older children and adolescents learn new ways of coping. Although delinquent children have elevated rates of later problems, many confused and troubled children blossom into mature, successful adults. Life is a process of becoming. Our present struggles may lay the foundation for a happier tomorrow. In some ways, we all change with age. Most shy, fearful toddlers begin opening up by age four, and most people become more conscious, stable, agreeable, and self-confident in the years after adolescence. Risk-prone adolescents tend to become more cautious adults. Indeed, many irresponsible 18-year-olds have matured into 40-year-old business or cultural leaders. Such changes can occur without changing a person's position relative to others in the same age. The hard-driving young adult may mellow by later life, yet still be a relatively driven senior citizen. Life requires both stability and change. Stability grows our identity, enabling us to depend on others and on ourselves. Our potential for change gives us our hope for a brighter future, allowing us to adapt and grow with experience. Please view my upcoming lectures on developmental issues, prenatal development, and the newborn.